a beam with an internal hinge is subjected to a distributed load. And a point load. We wish to calculate the beam's reaction forces at the supports. Let's split the beam at the hinge and show its internal forces. At the hinge, there is an axial force and a shear force. To accurately represent these internal forces, we must show them acting at the left and right sides of the hinge. The two axial forces must be shown in opposing directions. If one is oriented to the left, the other should be directed to the right. Similarly, if a shear force is directed downward, its counterpart should be drawn pointing upward. To emphasize the equivalency in magnitudes, let's assign labels to these forces. We'll denote the magnitude of the axial force at the hinge as Bx. Similarly, the magnitude of the shear force will be represented as Vb. It's crucial to note that the axial forces at the hinge have the same magnitude of Bx, and the two shear forces also share an identical magnitude of Vb. This represents a partial free body diagram of the beam. To complete the diagram, we need to show the support reaction forces. The roller support has one vertical reaction force. The fixed support has three reaction forces. To facilitate writing the equilibrium equations, we can replace the distributed load with its equivalent concentrated load. Since the area of this rectangle is 25, we replace it with a point load of 25 kilonewtons. The load is placed on the beam at the geometric center of the rectangle. We are now ready to write the three equilibrium equations for each beam segment. The sum of the forces in the x direction, the sum of the forces in the y direction, and the sum of the moments about the z-axis must be zero. The equilibrium equations for the left segment are. For the right segment, the equilibrium equations can be written as Bx equals zero. Using this equation, we can deduce that C sub x is also zero. We can solve for V sub b using this equation by substituting negative 12.5 for Vb in this equation, we can determine C sub y. Then, we can solve for M sub c using this equation. Finally, we can use this equation to determine A sub y. Let's show the calculated forces on the free body diagram. Since the shear force at point B was calculated to have a negative magnitude, we can reverse its direction and set its magnitude to positive 12.5 kN, like this. To summarize, here are the beam's support reactions.